Hello everyone, welcome back to Sage 23. We are here with session four and we are going to kick this off with Cosmo Vopes. This is a game that was at a previous Sage and I remember it running really slow, like 20 frames per second. So this time around, it runs much smoother. I think the game is running on the Unity engine and it felt really nice to play. Like, it felt like it was an official game. So the frame rate could be a bit better, but it's still a huge improvement from the last version because the last version, it was very, very slow. So it also has built in controller support, which is really nice. And the controls are pretty responsive. So I actually recommend this one. It feels really polished. Cosmo Jellica is one of those airplane shooter type games. I'm not exactly sure what type of game that you would refer to this as, but I always compare these type of games to Era Fighters on the Neo Geo. So these games are usually tough with enemies covering the screen with bullets and you have to dodge them while also destroying them to move on to the next level. So the game's difficulty starts off pretty fair giving you health and power-ups and the difficulty will you know it increases at a very good rate allowing you to get adjusted to the game before all of the craziness starts so eventually there were bullets being everywhere on the screen with more and more enemies to take down also the enemy types uh began to get more difficult and eventually i would reach a boss in which I got a game over because the boss was just pretty dang difficult. So I think this game is really good. It was really fun. Next game up is Croaking Around, which is a 2D platformer. You will control this frog and use your tongue to swing from objects and avoid traps. So it's a fairly simple game, increasing in difficulty and adding new gimmicks as you move further along. So the game runs at a very smooth frame rate and has a very beautiful art style. And uh, it also has built-in controller support. So I definitely recommend this one. It was really good. It's a really nice polished game. Next is Cube Crusaders, and I didn't spend much time on this game. It was just not put together very well. So the game tells you to hit start or enter to begin, but it doesn't actually work. So I ended up just mashing a bunch of keys on my keyboard until the game eventually started. So once the game did begin, I did not know how to fire my gun and you know i just kept dying there were times where i would like drop like this good like this like grenade or something and it would just blow up but yeah i couldn't i was carrying this gun around but i just couldn't fire it so i thought that you know that was pretty frustrating and also you just didn't really have time to get adjusted to your character's controls anyway because you would only have a few seconds before the enemies start dropping in and they just automatically know where you are and start attacking you so this game was trash, I would say avoid it. Next is Cuban Gardens Befriend, and it is a turn-based RPG. So I managed to figure out that this is an RPG game just in time 
before I was able to lose my mind because all of this damn talking uh, was just a bit too much for me. And I know that there is a story to be told here, but you know, it was just really bad. RPGs usually do have a lot of dialogue, but for this being a demo, it was just way too much. And honestly, I don't even know what the plot of this game is because it was just so much damn talking like, bruh, please shut up. Let's just get to the gameplay. So once the characters actually did finally get into the game and I was actually able to start moving around, there was some more talking that I had to go through. But once I did actually get into some battles, you will see that it is just some basic turn-based RPG gameplay. You know, you could use items, use magic, or attack. And uh, I will say that the music in this game is the strong point because I thought that it was pretty catchy. So I'd say that this game is worth a try if you're willing to sit through all the unskippable dialogue. I just think that, you know, I just want to touch on that again because let's say even if you did enjoy the game, you would be less likely to replay it just due to having to sit through a whole bunch of dialogue before being able to get back to the gameplay. So please, please developers, fix that. And that's going to do it for this session. There was a game called Crazy Kitchen, but I actually had to skip over that because it just wouldn't start for me. So I will provide the link for all of these games in the description. I thank you for watching and I will see you later.